Welcome to Chakra Yoga. Today's practice, we're going to focus on healing and peace. Peace in the mind and peace in the heart. This gentle, slow flow of holding postures for a certain amount of time will release all bad negative feelings from the past, prepare us to open, to welcome all good things coming right here, right now, and walking into tomorrow and all the days to follow, trusting that everything will flow to us and come to us for our highest good. When we work on our own healing and we work on our own peace of mind and the peace in the heart, Everything we do to ourselves affects others. So let's get started in this practice. As you already know, I love to start with the essential oils. Sometimes I put them on my wrists, my feet. If you are inclined to do the same, please do. And if you don't work with essential oils, please reach out to me or go to my Instagram page and there's more information there about essential oils. I'm here to support you, whether that be through using natural solutions in the form of essential oils, whether it be in the form of meditation, yoga, whatever resonates with you, I am here to support you on the journey to find the perfect balance in body, mind, and spirit so that you can feel connected and in flow of whatever this purpose is that we're each here on this planet and in this school of life. Close your eyes and come into a comfortable seated position, beginning to focus on the breath. Noticing if you're inhaling deeply or if maybe you're still constricting your body, your chest, holding on to the breath, try to allow the inhale to be as deep as it possibly can, filling up the tummy, down by the belly button filling up the chest and allowing the breath to come all the way up to the throat area. And once you feel as though you're full with the breath, just release and let go and allow the exhale to be even longer than the inhale. On the next inhale, bring the hands together in prayer pose in front of the heart. Press the thumbs into the heart center. With a big smile on your face and your eyes are closed, tap into your heart. Truly check in for what it is that your body, mind, and spirit are craving for healing and for peace. And pick either a word or a couple words to be your focus for your mantra for your practice today. And if you need a couple examples, here are a few that are my basic that I go to. I am happy, healthy, and holy. Or I am bountiful, I am beautiful, I am blissful. Or peace, love, joy. If any of the words that I just shared with you resonate with you, take 
any or all that you like. If you have your own, go silently now inside, connecting with your heart for what it is your sweet heart desires for healing and for peace. On the next inhale, flutter your eyes open, release your hands, and if you're, you're seated on a pillow or a blanket, pull it to the side, bringing your sit bones flat to the ground. And we're going to start our first posture with the back and the spine straight. Sit bones are rooted to the ground. The legs are extended straight out in front of us, but they're, they're not tight. They're just straight and relaxed. We're going to inhale our arms up, raising them above our heads. And then on the exhale, we're going to fold forward from the hips until we come to that point of resistance. And once we're at that point of resistance, just flow over, releasing, allowing the head the shoulders and the neck to relax. You can rest your hands on your shins, your ankles, maybe the toes if you're able to grab your big toes. Wrap your pointer and middle finger around the big toe and press into the toenail with your thumb. What this does is it actually helps to put pressure and energize and stimulate the pituitary gland. In this posture, we're not pulling with the arms, but we're just releasing, allowing the spine to stretch in a curled position, allowing the hamstrings, the hamstrings are where we hold all our life experiences. This posture is helping us to release all emotions that are negative and all toxic feelings in the flow of our life through the hamstrings of the past. The back curled in this position is helping us to release all past experiences, emotions, traumas, and such that do not serve us. Allow yourself to just be in this position, truly feeling and picturing in your mind's eye the release of all past experiences, emotions, traumas, whatever it may be, releasing them, allowing them to melt down into the earth. Now I'm going to leave you in several moments of silence as you focus on your word or words of mantra for healing and peace. On the next inhale, extend the hands out as far as they can go towards the toes or past the toes. And inhale, coming up to a straight spine. Arms are lifted above the head. And then on the next 
exhale, bring the hands gently from the sky down to the earth, opening the eyes, shaking out the legs, and taking the right knee, bending it, crossing the right foot over the left knee and your choice you can wrap your left arm around twisting to the right or maybe it's more comfortable for you to take your elbow on the outside of your right knee Wh whichever is most comfortable for you coming with an inhale moving into the posture And on the exhale, when you get to that point of resistance, allowing the left leg to relax, using the right hand and arm to support you, and feeling the twist in the torso. In this posture, we're twisting out all to toxic thoughts and emotions and all toxic experiences and traumas from the past. We're twisting them out from our solar plexus, our third chakra, where our willpower is. Our power to be true to ourselves, our power to stand in the truth of our purpose for this flow of life that we're all experiencing. So picture in your mind's eye the release of anything in the past that you truly want to wring out and let go. Now going into silence and focusing on your mantra to bring healing and peace to your heart, your body, your mind, and your spirit. next inhale release the posture by coming forward straight release the right leg shake out the legs and then when you're ready checking in that the seat the sit bones are grounded into the, the floor beneath you taking the left knee bending it and crossing it over the right knee and again it might be the same on the left side as it was on the right move with your breath move with your body and move into the posture on the left side allowing yourself to move with the inhale and when you come to your point of resistance exhale and focusing on what else it is that you wish to release, to wring out that is toxic from the past and to let it go. Focusing on your heart and if you're able to, in your mind's eye, visualize releasing all toxic emotions, thoughts, feelings of the past melting to the ground and then going into your mantra to bring in healing and to bring in peace. I'll leave you now in a few moments of silence to focus on your mantra.
On the next inhale, come to center, releasing the arms and then releasing the left leg and the knee, relaxing, letting go, shaking out the legs. The eyes can be open or the eyes can be closed, allowing yourself to experience the connection between letting go and welcoming healing and peace. Coming over into tabletop position, taking at your own pace some cat cows. Inhaling with the chin and the gaze up to the ceiling, the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, curling the spine. Move with your breath and focusing on a flexible spine. With a flexible spine, we have a, a flexible mind. When our mind is flexible, we're able to walk through and flow with life experiences intuitively, gracefully, and from our heart in bringing peace to all situations. Keep moving with your breath. On the next inhale, come to a neutral spine and a neutral back. Bending the right knee and bringing the knee behind the right hand and wrist. Extending the left leg out, we're coming into pigeon pose. Everyone's different. Maybe you wanna stay here. Maybe you wanna come down onto your elbows. Maybe you're comfortable with resting your head on the ground, whatever feels comfortable to you, allowing yourself to come into the posture, trusting that it's safe to release all past anger and resentment. We hold past anger and resentment in our hips and our right hip is the energy with the connection of the masculine. And that could be masculine energy. It can also be the men in our lives, past and present. Focus on allowing all those toxic old emotions to release and melt into the ground. Releasing, letting go, and trusting that it's safe to heal and it's safe to welcome peace. I'll leave you in moments to use your mantra, to focus on your mantra, focus on the release, and focus on your breath. On the next inhale, push up. And then sitting on your right hip, bringing your left leg around, extending the legs out in front of you, shaking out the legs, truly feeling safe and happy 
and joyful to release the past. And then just taking the left knee, bending it, extending the right leg back and coming into pigeon pose on the left side. Honoring your body for being able to stretch, release, and let go. Honoring your body and trusting that this healing process is exactly what you need and safe today, right here, right now, so that you can welcome peace into your heart. Take the moments now to focus on your mantra, your breath, and releasing all toxic anger and resentment. And the left side is the female energy linked to female energy and all female relationships in our lives. On the next inhale, push up, coming over onto the left hip, bringing the right leg around, extending both legs out straight in front of you, shaking out the legs, pausing here a moment, feeling the connection of the mind, the heart, the body, trusting you are safe to heal, you're safe to release, you're safe to let go. And when you're ready, gently come over onto your stomach. Moving into Sphinx Pose. The elbows are directly underneath our shoulders, our hands are and our forearms are extended straight out fingers are wide and our hips and pelvic bone are pressed into the ground. Our heart is opening and with our heart opening we are welcoming all good things to come to us right here, right now, today and every day moving forward. We welcome our hearts. We trust our hearts to open, to love deeply because we've let go of all past hurts, all past harms, all past toxic experiences. And now the heart is opening to allow peace, allow love, an abundance of all blessings our heart desires. Go quietly within, focusing on your mantra.
the next inhale, release the shoulders, the elbows, the arms, bringing the forehead onto the hands and relaxing the head, the neck, and the shoulders. Just releasing, letting go. On the next inhale, gently push up, coming through a gentle child's pose. The sit bones are connected to the heels, the legs are wide, we extend our arms out, bringing the forehead to the ground, and allowing ourselves to release into trusting the heart and feeling the healing energy we've created through our practice. On the next inhale, push up, bringing the sit bones to the ground again and bringing the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to gently fold open and just relax open into butterfly pose. You can rest your hands on your feet or you can slip your arms underneath. To start, we have a straight spine, and we take a deep inhale, and we exhale coming forward from the hips, and then once we come to the point of resistance, we bow over, allowing ourselves to release Imagining that what we're doing here is we're still releasing the past and with the action of bringing the head over the heart, we're welcoming the mind and the heart connection. This pose also releases any stress and anxiety of the past, the present, and the future. Check in that the head is relaxed and is just dangling. The neck is relaxed. The hands are relaxed that we're not pulling on anything. And go into long, deep breathing, allowing yourself to connect the body, the mind, the spirit, especially the mind and the heart. Focusing now on your mantra.
on the next inhale, gently come up, leading with the unfolding of the spine, vertebra vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing the head up last, releasing the knees and the legs, and just shaking them out, maybe wiggling them from side to side. and gently rolling down onto the spine, one vertebrae at a time, coming down flat on the back, extending the legs out, bringing the soles of the feet together again, opening the knees and the groin area, and allowing yourself to feel vulnerable, trusting that this healing to bring you happiness, peace, love, and joy, and the connection to the mind and the heart full of peace and gratitude. Maybe the hands and the arms would like to come out a little further from the body with the palms facing up allowing yourself to feel safe, to trust and receive all blessings of health and peace in this moment and each and every day in the future to come with blessings of abundance in body, mind, and spirit. Go into your mantra, focus on your mantra. On the next inhale, bring the knees together, point it up to the ceiling, and then tuck the knees into the chest, hold the knees, and rock on the lower back. taking the knees to center, taking a deep inhale, and then dropping the knees over to the left, bringing the knees to the ground, extending the right arm out in whatever position feels safe and comfortable for you. And maybe the head is straight up to the sky, the ceiling, or maybe it's over to the right. Whichever position you're in, honoring your body, and just going quiet to focus on your mantra. On the next inhale, bring the knees to center. And when you're ready, drop them over to the right. Relaxing into the twist, honoring your body. Relaxing into the breath and focusing on your mantra. On the next inhale, bring the knees up to center. 
taking hold of the knees, massaging out the back one more time. And when you're ready, release the body down into Shavasana, allowing yourself to relax, noticing that the feet are either mat width apart or hip distance apart, allowing the arms to relax at the side maybe a foot or so out from the body. Hands are facing up to the ceiling, the sky. Noticing that the shoulders are relaxed. Noticing the neck and the head are relaxed. And just allow yourself to melt down into Shavasana, stillness. Focusing on healing and peace, using your mantra or not to go into stillness, relaxing and letting go now. bringing awareness back into the body. Bringing the awareness with the breath. Bringing the awareness by wiggling the fingers and the toes. And then gently bringing the feet to the floor with the knees pointed up to the ceiling. Pausing here a moment. Getting ready to turn to either the right side or the left. The right side if you need relaxation moving forward. The left side if you need energy moving forward. On the next inhale, turning towards the side that you choose, resting here a moment, and then pushing up to a seated position, coming on to a pillow, a bolster, or a blanket, or flat on your mat, whichever is comfortable for you. eyes closed, bringing the hands into prayer pose, bowing the head to the heart, honoring yourself for the time that you devoted today for healing and peace. 
For all that I do unto myself, I do unto others. How I treat myself affects others. With our practice of yoga, we know, we trust, and we believe that everything we do resonates out into an energetic ripple effect, bringing light to all, peace to all, love to all. Satnam. Thank you so much for taking time to practice with me today. I am forever grateful for your dedication, your energy, your love, and the journey that you are on to find the perfect balance of body, mind, and spirit. I honor you, and I send you peace, love, joy today and every day.